this week we're doing um, a reading for divine love and how you can attract divine love into your life to open up to so much actually more love, more wealth, more abundance. So we have three piles here today. Pile one, and of course this is my beautiful deck that we're going to be using today, which I'm super excited about. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So you can just close your eyes for a few moments and just really connect and see and just ask yourself, what do I need to know in terms of divine love? Or how can I attract more love into my life to create more peace, joy, and harmony? Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your Divine Love Reading. So let's get started. Let's see what cards are for you. Wow, pregnancy. Smile. Super glossy. Um, and if you want to purchase my cards, um, the link is below. So these two are from my Oracle deck. So if you do want to purchase it, it's down below in the link or you can just message me privately. Discover. Oops. Protection. Okay, this is quite interesting. Okay, I'm just going to move these here. Citrine, unnecessary worries. Let's see what tarot, strength. Ace of pentacles. Six of pentacles. And time for healing. Wow, look at these beautiful cards. Okay, so automatically what I'm picking up so this is a big, big time of change for you guys. Um, and there's going to be a lot of like new ideas coming through. And this is quite interesting because with the Six of Pentacles here, you're going to be receiving something new in your life, which is so exciting. And in this moment, it's a beautiful baby, you know, that I'm picking up and this baby is going to make you smile a lot, you know, you're going to kind of nurture it, you're going to put time and you're going to have a new path um, where you can discover more, you know, so it's here, the card, beautiful card coming up, discover, it's a time for change, you know, and this is the peak time of your change in terms of you're getting a baby and of course your life is going to adjust to that so we have the card protection and what's coming up is that your energy is good but usually when we go through a change we kind of block ourselves from change and our energy cannot be protected in that situation so what's coming up is just you have to kind of protect your energy and put yourself through a good situation and you know that you can create that for yourself like you do not have to rely on someone to create the energy for you a lot of pentacles energy so this is a good moment you know and you're bringing a lot of healing and it's the the universe is blessing you with divine healing you know and this is your big moment that's going to create the most divine love for you and to help you attract so much more into your life, you know. So what's coming up here? A beautiful crystal. You can keep this by you. Maybe, who knows, it's going to bring this whole ultimate healing. And you can set an intention on the crystal. Yeah, so it's coming up. Both of these cards are purple. But um, it's coming up to release a lot of your energies. Like, um, if you have a certain issue in your job or in your relationship or anywhere aspect um, I'm just picking up job to release that you know to heal that and it's funny because this card is also coming up so both of them are saying that and your angels are saying that it's the time for healing you know because 
not only is it for your highest vibration because you're going through something new now you're going to get something new you're also going to have a pregnancy and you know you may not be actually thinking about getting a baby but I'm just sensing in three to four months you're planning you know you've been planning subconsciously and that's how it has been created and then smile more you know there's so much room to create excitement, positivity, passion. Smile more and you're going to allow this peaceful energy to come through. And I also feel like the situation where you're going to be healing is going to give you a lot of strength, you know. Of course, healing always gives us more strength because... Um, Healing is hard, you know, it's hard to heal sometimes. So I think the situation is really getting you that strength, that healing. Um, and the highest vibration that you could ever have. I also feel that you're going to be discovering a lot of new hobbies, kind of. And... Um, you might think about pursuing these hobbies. Um, if you're interested later on, you're going to have an idea. But this is more divine love. But if you do want kind of uh, a deeper reading about this and how it's going to create more opportunities in your life, feel free to message me. Um, my links are down below. And I do private tarot readings, angel healing, sound therapy, meditations so if you're interested you can just check my website out or contact me if you want to expand more on this like a lot of balance a lot of harmony and a lot of areas are aligning for you it's like the most highest vibration of healing for you and i think this is the point where after you've healed i mean there's a lot of layers to healing you know there's like you start the healing and then I feel like you have healed some aspect of you. So this is kind of like an onion and you're on the second layer of healing. So this is why a new kind of physical element is also coming to you. Um, and in this situation, it's a baby, you know, a beautiful baby. But um, yeah, definitely surround yourself with citron. So we have a beautiful citron crystal here. So yeah, surround yourself with citron more, you know, um, to allow this healing process to happen more um, and really go to the highest vibration of healing, you know, that's for your highest good that will really help you kind of cope with all of this and heal the fastest, you know. Um, it's all about how much you can heal and... It doesn't even have to be fastest, but as soon as possible, if it comes to you, that's what's great because it's going to be really easy then. You won't have to think about it so much and wait for it. So may it come to you, the highest healing, may it come to you with ease, grace, joy, peace, everything for the most highest um, healing to allow beautiful opportunities to come into your life. And pile one, if you do want to watch um, the other piles, uh, feel free to watch it. Um, these are general readings, so uh, they're not too long because they don't go too much in depth. But again, if you're interested in going in more on depth, you can feel free to message me if it's for this topic or any other topic. But thank you so much, pile one, and I hope this helped you. And I hope from this message, guided message, you can understand that the healing now, this is the peak time of your healing. That's going to create the best reality for you that you didn't even know was there, you know. Um, and it's going to be so amazing. Just allow the process to happen. Allow the healing to happen. Allow yourself to really receive this healing for the highest good. Thank you so much. I send you many, many, many blessings. And I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you, pile one. Hello, beautiful pile number two. 
and welcome to your divine love reading so let's see what's in store for you Oop. interesting okay magician ace of swords the moon patience interesting okay abundance wow gold a new romantic cycle begins Ooh. okay adoption and faith wow pile number two this is quite interesting it's actually kind of similar from the energy i'm picking up already to pile um number one so if you do want to watch pile number one maybe if you feel it resonates with you feel free to watch it um okay let's see what messages are coming for up for you okay pile number two so we have so many interesting oops we have a lot of interesting cards here okay so what i'm automatically picking up is that there's kind of you're going to meet someone or maybe there's someone already in your life who knows it all kind of they've planned um this before like they've planned this life you know and there's someone who um there's someone who's very high vibrational you know um like their energy is very high vibrational and they have kind of two sides of them though like one side i would say is for really loved ones so they kind of basically what's coming up is they know how to protect themselves i would say um from any harm and they know how to protect you and they kind of understand you you know so the moon there's a lot of change in energy again pile one also they had a lot of change in energy so i feel a similar energy here um a lot of yellowness for you so a lot of beautiful moments we have some yellow flowers here so a lot of yellow energy and there's a change for you you know like this isn't just a change it's a big 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 change so it's going to change again it's a constant change it's going back and forth back and forth you know but allow this to happen so a lot of new moments Ooh, so a new romantic cycle begins for you guys so allow this person to come into your life you know it's here patience and faith from my beautiful oracle so we have faith and patience so those i'm just feeling that um they go hand in hand so basically have patience for whatever change you're kind of manifesting right now um maybe you're manifesting miracles you know to move in with your partner or create more abundance so you guys can move in together or you can create more abundance in both of your lives so have faith because it's definitely going to happen it's happening for a reason already and all you need is patience which is the hardest thing to have you know we can get desperate but all that's going to come from this whole situation is abundance so much abundance you know so much abundance is coming through and of course who doesn't love abundance because when we have abundance in our life we can create so much more you know we can create so much more which is amazing we have this card here divine intervention god sends miracles to answer sincere prayers so i would say that definitely goes in hand with faith you know like kind of praying to get what you want or not praying maybe manifesting um and trusting again having patience and trusting they all go hand in hand um definitely trusting in the divine you know in the whole process because it's already happening for a reason right now and 
there's a lot of good energy so i just think that more than situations changing um you're kind of getting what you want you know it's finally that you're getting what you want and um we have adoption here so adoption doesn't necessarily mean a baby you know adopting a baby but in this situation i'm just feeling for you guys it may be like kind of adopting or moving into a new house or adopting to change you know that's the biggest thing that's coming up right now um adopting to change you know and adopting and adapting to change both together which is so important because it's going to help you kind of balance your life it's um because we have a balancing uh, scale here you know a weighing scale it's going to help you balance your life so once you have all these elements it's going to create not only your love life to be easier but if you have children that to be easier um responsibilities to be so much easier to create so much abundance in your life and i do see a lot of abundance coming through a lot of money coming through a lot of happiness coming through abundance of change and you're going to be around water a lot actually i just see that image right now you're going to be surrounded by water so that's a lot of water in this image as well um maybe you're going to take take a trip because you have so much abundance you know abundance especially prosperity you have so much wealth that now it's so easy so free for you to take um a trip to wherever you've been desiring maybe it's kind of a beachy location or it has a lot of rivers and you're finally going to take that trip you know and it's going to help you create more abundance of happiness more happiness more joy more prosperity more love so thank you pile number 2 thank you so much and if you want to watch any other pile again feel free to um i do think the energy was quite similar to pile 1 so if you want to watch that you can but there's so many blessings coming your way just allow yourself to open up to it allow yourself maybe you already have a partner but they they are not the divine ones so the divine partner whether it takes 6 months 7 months a year 2 years it's going to come to you but patience is the most highest thing that you need not only for the romantic part but honestly for your whole life you know for all aspects and have faith in the universe have faith in god whoever you believe in have faith in them because as long as you believe in it it's going to come to you so that's all i'm going to say now for you and i send you many blessings so thank you so much bye pile Hello, number two. pile number 3 i hope you're doing well um so let's see what cards are for you wow heavenly so this is for my oracle deck so if you're interested feel free to see the link below communication is key okay love life ooh rose quartz yellow jasper control issues rejuvenate okay four of cups nine of swords the world wow you guys are so interesting the sun like pile 1 and 2 were so similar but pile 3 you're quite different in terms of the cards so first i'm picking up okay so we have rose quartz here so love life new or renewed romantic love is here for you but that's interesting because we also have yellow jasper control issues utilize your god given strength and power instead of fearing that others may control you okay so 
maybe right now you're in a controlling relationship where you're not able to expand on your energy you're not able to communicate so communication is key of course for any relationship but um, you're not able to communicate you know so it's definitely making you frustrated making you angry um, sometimes you may go to bed angry or you may feel that it's a stressful situation you're not um, being heard um, and you feel like there's all eyes on you you know this kind of uh, going back to this control um, that there's always maybe this is the partner since it's a love reading so there's like eyes on you you know maybe they're seeing you in your sleep kind of thing and you feel even controlled in your sleep so i feel like here you need some alone time time to rejuvenate oh my god that's funny i just saw this card rejuvenate you need time to rejuvenate your energy um free yourself you know allow yourself to communicate with yourself only in this situation right now and if you see there's two people here and it's herself so connect with yourself communicate with yourself and nurture yourself through this um time you know it's happening for a reason um the sun and of course there's going to be a lot of healing now once you've um, communicated with yourself you've rejuvenated you've allowed yourself to communicate with yourself there's going to be a big change going to be a heavenly change um you're go you're opening up your throat chakra you know you're allowing yourself to have heavenly communication just meaning that your communication is so powerful um, that it becomes so sweet and gentle because um, you know how to express you know surround yourself with rose quartz because it will help you um, love yourself bring more love into whatever situation you're in um, beautiful rose quartz crystal um, and also angel aura is great um, for that rose angel aura quartz um, to bring more love into your situation into this time and it's really going to help you connect with yourself connect with your kind of higher power you know divine power and to release all of this to release all of the control that you've been facing um to really go to a high vibration you know to really feel that you can be your highest self and um in terms of love to expand to a higher consciousness to expand to the most um highest kind of vibration of healing you know when you're at the most highest vibration there's automatically going to be the most unlimited amount of healing many blessings are being sent over you you know allow those blessings to come in you deserve the blessings they're all yours because these blessings they are for you they are your blessings you should take them so maybe you can just we can take a moment now to close your eyes and just receive these blessings because this situation has been hard for you and you've been trying to heal it so we can just take a moment to allow god allow this beautiful higher energy to send us blessings so just say i open myself and i allow myself to unlimited amount of blessings And I receive blessings every single day with ease, with joy, with grace, with happiness, with abundance. And these uh, new beginnings, these blessings 
are bringing you so much abundance in every area of your life, healing um, your relationships, whether it's a romantic relationships, uh, relationships with children, friends, um, business partners, anyone else, relationship with yourself. There's a lot of blessings coming through right now. Um, a lot of blessings for yourself, you know. Allow those blessings to heal you. Allow those blessings to help you, you know, all across the way. So thank you, pile number three. And thank you, everyone, for watching this beautiful reading. Um, if you do want a more detailed reading, um, you can contact me. Or if you'd like an angel healing uh, with archangels, uh, you can also contact me. I offer them for love, abundance, healing money issues, romance issues, partners, manifesting more, anything like this. Um, so yeah, and you can find me on Facebook down below. I also have my website link down below. So if you want to check or if you want to book any services, you can check that down below. And um, I will be doing more reading, so it would be helpful if you guys could comment down below what readings you would like. Um, yeah, so I know which you guys would love. And yeah, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, sacred day. And I'm sending you many, many blessings. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.